Welcome to a short video about how to generate and output a pulse width modulation signal. In the math section a base frequency is used to generate a sawtooth signal. Then we use the if condition for 0 or 1 output depending if the signal crosses an adjustable trigger level. The level is realized as a control channel from 0 to 100% to allow life change during measurement. The pulse width signal is then output by the function generator. There is an option to output any channel. Scaling is done to get a 0 to 10 volt square wave signal. Let's go to measure mode. We have connected an oscilloscope on the analog output of the Sirius multimodder. Now you can easily control the pulse width signal. Because of the buffering, the output will follow with a little delay time.